Hello, this tutorial is about the combination of 4-part Schellinger hybrid harmony and atonal harmony using a pitch class set in music composition. The diatonic sections use progressions with extended chords and thirds. The atonal sections use harmony and melody derived from pitch class set 5-9. You'll also see the application of strata harmony and a Schellinger rhythm in an example composition with orchestral and ethnic instruments. In this tutorial we'll combine 4-part Schillinger hybrid harmony with pitch class set atonal harmony. The diatonic hybrid harmony chord progressions use variable tension with extended chords in thirds and mixed root cycles. We'll briefly revisit pitch class set fundamentals including the prime form representation, set transformations and how to create chord progressions. This tutorial is built around an example composition using orchestral and ethnic instruments. In case you have not done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. You may support tutorial production through a single PayPal donation or by becoming a patron. Your help is greatly appreciated. Now let's get started with the fun part. The first subject is the creation of Schillinger 4 part hybrid harmony. You'll find a procedure for creating chord structures from a diatonic scale in book 5, The Special Theory of Harmony, from the Schillinger System of Musical Composition. That book presents a great overview of traditional harmony with chords and thirds, progressions with root movement through cycles and dissonance handling. In fact, hybrid harmony is an extension that allows the writing of series of higher tension level chords. I did a number of videos on hybrid harmony that you may want to watch before proceeding with this tutorial. Today we are working in the diatonic 4 part hybrid harmony system. The starting point is a 7 pitch minor mode scale on root C. The representation with stepwise ascending scale degrees is called expansion 0. Writing the scale in a different form by skipping a degree, we obtain the expansion 1, a series of ascending thirds for building chords. Listen to the scale. Throughout this tutorial I'll demonstrate the application of techniques in the example composition. You'll hear the full piece at the end. This is the first fragment, with a Bansuri flute playing a melody derived from the diatonic 7 pitch scale. We may consider 4 part hybrid harmony a two layer technique, with the root, chordal function 1, always in the bass part. There's a limited set of chord structures with three higher chordal functions in the upper layer. For most tension levels, between S5 and S13, you'll find the most commonly used structure and a less likely alternative. Listen to the nine chord structure options on root C for the Dorian modal scale. The next step is writing progressions with 4 part hybrid harmony chord structures. Here is a variable tension progression 1, with a mix of 9th, S11 and S13 chords. The source scale is shown at the top for reference. Root movement may be written as a series of positive and negative diatonic root cycle labels. For example, the ascending step from A flat to B flat is equivalent to a descending 7th leap in the scale, and thus the label R7 applies. We obtain root cycle labels for all chord pairs in the progression. We may control the overall tension level pattern and cadential character through a deliberate choice of root cycles and extended chord structure types. The 4 part hybrid harmony technique allows total freedom in upper layer voice leading, without dissonance handling rules. Yet I prefer some voice leading control, here visible as stepwise motion and contrary motion. The progression is mostly in close position voicing. It turns out that all chords contain the pitch B flat, which will be used as a pedal point in the composition.
This progression is used in section 3 from our example composition as a sustained harmony background for low register strings with limited embellishment through passing tones. At the end of the piece there is a closing cadence from the same progression, with the B flat 13 chord moving to C minor 9 through an R7 root cycle. Here is the second variable tension 4 part hybrid harmony progression, with upper structure voice leading and the series of roots and root cycle labels in the lower staff. Become aware of the chord structure harmonic quality and the effect of root cycles. This progression is used at the start of the example composition. The B flat pedal point is written for high strength and synthesizer. We find the hybrid harmony as a sustained strings background. I am pleased with the special character of the F sharp 13 chord in the middle and the suspended chord quality of the closing structure on root D. In the composition I've used a particular Schillinger rhythm. These rhythms are written as note and rest attack duration series. I've created a linear growth series pattern with the 16th note as time unit. The linear growth series implies 1, 2, 3 or 4 notes followed by a rest and adding another note to fill a complete measure in 4-4 time signature. The next two measures are obtained through circular permutation of this growth series. Bar 2 starting with 3 attacks and bar 3 with 4 attacks. Listen to this pattern that will show up as several instances in the composition. We will modify one of the hybrid harmony progressions using the strata harmony approach. I recently did a series of video tutorials on this subject. In strata harmony we achieve independent voice leading for a set of parallel simultaneous layers of harmony or melody, as the diagram in the top right shows. Strata harmony also involves techniques such as layer doubling at higher or lower octaves, which you'll see in a minute, or creating exact parallel additional voices through coupling. The latter is demonstrated here where we modify the original setting into a 5 part texture, with a perfect fourth coupling below the original bass part. This has significant effect on the overall harmony, which now contains non-diatonic notes. Strata harmony is used in the tutti section of my example composition near the end. Here is the combination of the bass part with coupling in layer S1 and the three part sustained harmony for trombones in layer S2. Again, these parts contain passing tones as embellishment. The bass part instrumentation is for low brass, low strings and bass guitar. Middle layer S3 is a diatonic melody for unisono French horn quartet, clarinet and synthesizer.
And here is the upper layer, with octave doubling of the original layer S2. In general, one should avoid pitch overlap between adjacent strata. Here, there is partial overlap between the second violin, viola, and the melody layer. First violins and woodwinds lie above the melody though. What helps avoiding muddled orchestration is the fact that this layer is played as 16th note arpeggio patterns, with the Schillinger linear growth rhythm that we saw earlier. You will hear the full strata harmony setting later, but now listen to this layer in isolation. Let's now focus on the other sections in the piece, that are based on a pitch class set. As I did in the previous tutorial about harmony system combinations, there's a brief overview of set fundamentals. These are extensively used in atonal music and you may read the Forte book for a detailed subject treatment. My current example uses a single pitch class set, which may be shown in staff notation and in the pitch disc diagram as cyan colored dots. And numbers 0 to 11, representing the pitch classes from the chromatic scale. The cardinal number is the number of pitch classes in the set, here 5. The diagram shows the prime form, the pitch class ordering that yields a kind of closest spacing. The prime form contains pitch classes C, C sharp, D, E, and F sharp. The number count of intervals between pairs of pitch classes is shown in the six element interval vector. This vector is an indicator of the set dissonance level, a topic I discussed in an earlier series of video tutorials. The set may also be shown in a one octave keyboard diagram. Pitch class set properties may be inspected using the interactive set analysis tool on my website. Use the tool for set transformations, identification and specific properties. And here is a case of serendipity. Upon further inspection of the diatonic scale, it turned out that the set 5.9 is included in the scale, as transposed form 06. I will use this property in the composition. Besides the transposition transformation, you may also invert the pitch class set. That is shown here for the inversion about the root C in red dots. We obtain different pitch classes, but the interval vector is not changed by this operation. Let's briefly look at the elements in the interval vector. Each element is the total number of either dissonant or consonant interval classes in the set. For example, the first element has value 2, which means there are two semitone intervals in this set. I demonstrated the interpretation of the interval vector extensively in my previous video for the all interval tetrachord. We may create atonal chord progressions, that is, derive harmony continuities from the source set. Here, the design principle is to use the common notes property for different set forms. Let's look at the major third interval between pitch classes C and E. This pair is included in prime form 0, for which we see an example 5 part voicing with the major third in the lowest parts and minimized dissonance through appropriate distribution of the remaining three pitches. We may also find these common notes in a transposed form of the set, since there are two major third intervals according to the interval vector. This transposed form is 010. In addition, there will be two inverted forms that contain common notes C and E. We use the total set of four options to create the chord progression on the right. This continuity shows that, in addition to the C E overlap in the bass, there is the pedal point pitch D. This atonal continuity is used in section 2 in a transposed form. The common notes are in the bass clarinet, bassoon and cello parts. High woodwinds play the remaining three part subsets.
We repeat this approach, but now we look for all pitch class set forms that contain the common notes C and D. First, listen to the example five part voicing. The major second lists three occurrences in the interval vector. So we find three original and three inverted forms with pitch classes C and D. This involves the transposition operation illustrated here for the two other original forms from O0 to O10. And downward transposition by a major third to O8. From the total set of six options we design this continuity on the right, again with the overlapping major second C to D in the lower parts. There is some additional overlap in the upper parts. This mildly dissonant interval is the characteristic element in the somewhat funky sixth section that features saxophones and mid-register violas and celli in a kind of call and response setting. Listen to the major second in the syncopated bass guitar, the harmony in the vibraphone and the pedal point in high strings. After the consonant major third, the mildly dissonant major second, now we look for all set forms that contain the highly dissonant minor second between C and pitch D flat. By now we are familiar with the procedure. We start with a minimum dissonance example voicing with the common pitches in the lower parts. Then we look for the transposed original form that also has these two pitch classes, which turns out to be O11. Then we identify the two inverted forms and create a chord progression. Here I decided on a continuity that has a chromatically ascending middle part. This is used in the center of the example composition, another funk style section. We find the minor second in the bass guitar part. The remaining pitches are in the sustained synthesizer parts and in the vibraphone. The chromatically ascending pitches F, F sharp, G and G sharp are in both the bass guitar and in the unisono melody for low saxophones, horns and trombones. Harmony with minor second C D flat overlap returns in the next section with a three part setting. Note the chromatically ascending pitches as synthesizer whole notes, while solo violin and viola play a quasi counterpoint melody with synthesizer doubling. The violin melody is built around the F, F sharp, G, G sharp pitches, while the viola uses the minor second interval plus additional notes from the harmony.
As another technique we may derive a melodic continuity from the pitch class set by using the elements in the interval vector. After a bit of puzzling I found a pitch sequence that strings together all possible intervals in the set. This yields the following series of 11 tones, all from the original form of pitch class set 5-9. Applying the same interval series to the inverted form I7, an approach used frequently by Schoenberg in dodecaphonic music, we obtain this melodic continuity. To see an application of the all interval series, we return to a section near the beginning of the piece, where we used the four forms with major third overlap to create atonal harmony. Here Bansuri and Kanun play melodic phrases based on the original and inverted melodic form. Plus we see the return of the Schillinger linear growth rhythm. In the next section, with Schillinger hybrid harmony string chords, we add the all interval melody for woodwinds and synthesizer. Remember that by coincidence we discovered that the pitch class set 5-9 is included in the diatonic scale. Now you'll see how all these elements fit together in the example composition, an ambient setting for orchestral and world music instruments. It has a fairly slow tempo, the time signature is 4-4. In the form overview we find the 8 sections that alternate hybrid harmony chord progressions with pitch class set based phrases. In the instrumentation there is a prominent role for a large ethnic percussion section that provides the groove for the orchestral instruments. There is contrast through sparse versus dense orchestration, with a climax in the tutti strata harmony section. Listen to this piece, there is an annotated reduced score, and you'll find production details, listing the virtual instruments and plugins used.
This tutorial is about the unlikely combination of diatonic hybrid harmony with atonal elements derived from a pitch class set. We looked at Schillinger four-part hybrid harmony chord structures, root cycles and chord progressions. You saw voice leading examples. We studied pitch class set 5-9, then derived harmonic and melodic continuities with specific properties such as the common notes, the overlap between different forms of the set and the all interval series. We used one specific rhythm, the linear growth pattern with 16th notes and rests. All elements were incorporated in the example composition. The companion booklet with text, diagrams and score examples is available on Patreon. Support tutorial production by using the PayPal link in the description for a one-time donation. Visit the website for the full score and more content. See you next time and thanks for watching.